Hi, this is Mrs. Freifeld with a very short video on the difference between a proper and an improper fraction. A proper fraction has a numerator, the top number, that's bigger than the denominator or the, the bottom number. An improper fraction has a numerator that is bigger than the denominator. Well, for a proper fraction, here are some examples. They are all less than one. So the denominator tells you how many are in the group, and the numerator tells you how many of those that you're talking about or that are shaded. These are all examples of proper fractions. Here are some examples of an improper fraction. And yes, this dog is the, the dog is the numerator the cat's the denominator, and I thought that was funny, so that's why he stuck up there. It looks like an improper situation. Anyway, here's an example of four-thirds. We have things that are divided into thirds, and I'm talking about four of them. This improper fraction is greater than one. It equals one and one-third. Here's another example of an improper fraction. These things are divided into halves, and I'm talking about five of them. Again, this five halves, this improper fraction is greater than one. It actually equals two and one half. And here's the last example of an improper fraction. So I've given you the improper fraction. I've drawn you the picture of what it looks like. And here I've written it as the mixed number. A mixed number is the whole number with the proper fraction. Good job.